Okay. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in to today's information session on the Grad Vantage Leadership and Teamwork Certificate Program. Uh, this certificate program is offered in partnership with the Graduate Education and Postdoctoral Affairs Division and the Division of Extended Studies. Uh, my name is Nathan Owens. I am the Associate Director for Strategic Initiatives at the Division of Extended Studies, and I manage things sort of behind the scenes, uh, mostly for administrative and, and logistical purposes with this program. And if you do end up participating in it, you will absolutely be hearing from me uh, at various points throughout, throughout the program. Um, I'd like to briefly introduce our panelists who you will hear more from a little bit later after I do an overview of the program. So we will start with you, Rich. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome, so excited to have you here. Uh, my name is Rich Mayhew. Uh, I've been on extension faculty for more years than I will admit. Uh, I'm excited about um, teaching this particular program, which I think, Nathan, you said this would be the eighth year. It's the eighth year, right? yes. We've okay. had really seven very successful programs, and we're going to tell you all about them. And I'll introduce myself more when I get into my discussion of the, uh, of the um, program. But I'm a, I have a business background. So um, I've been an executive in different organizations, and I've dealt with all sorts of uh, situations in business. I've led and managed uh, groups and teams over the years. Um, I had complex financial transactions I had to deal with. So I've been in the trenches in terms of understanding how to apply everything we're going to be talking about um, over, these, uh, over these weeks. I've also worked internationally, um, and so I'll bring all of that to the class. So that's me. Great. Thanks, Rich. And our other lead instructor for this program is Dragos Creation. So if you want Hello. to introduce yourself. I'm very, very nice to meet you all, guys. I'm also excited to be here for the eighth year. Uh, uh, we started uh, together with Rich uh, seven years ago. I've been uh, teaching uh, uh, through the extension for the last 10 plus years. And um, I'm also active. Um, I'm working for a startup here in San Diego, running projects, complex projects um, for the last 20 plus years. So um, again, super excited to share um, some of my uh, experience with you and to hear from, from your experience. And um, I will tell you more about myself as, uh, as we keep uh, going with the, the program. Excellent. Thanks, Dragos. So I'll start things off with a overview of the, the program and provide more information about sort of the structure of it, the cost and those sorts of things. Uh, if you have any questions, we will have a QA and a at the end, but in the meantime, feel free to drop any that you have in, in the chat. And then that way we can make sure we address those when we get to the Q&A session a little bit later. So with that, I will tell you a little bit more first about what GradVantage is. So GradVantage is sort of an overarching umbrella for several different programs that were designed back in 2015 with the support of the chancellor and in partnership with what was then called the graduate division, primarily to serve as a professional development resource for graduate students and postdoctoral scholars because they noticed that there were certain gaps when people were leaving their programs here at the university and often trying to go off into primarily industry. Uh, they didn't quite have all the skills that, that would make them the top, top candidates for those jobs. So that GradVantage was formed to help fill those gaps and provide opportunities for people to gain a lot of new skills and hopefully be a lot more employable when they do leave the university. And the Leadership and Teamwork Certificate Program, like I said, we're just one of several different resources under the GradVantage umbrella, and there are several others that you can see here. So if you're not aware of them, you can feel free to check them out. Uh, they are at that gradvantage.ucsd.edu website. There are frequent workshops and events and get, you know, get together networking events and things like that. So uh, please do check those out in addition to the Leadership and Teamwork Certificate Program. As for the certificate program itself, so this, as has been said before, we're going on our eighth year. It was formed specifically to address gaps around some of the, the soft skills around leadership and management and teamwork building, and then also in the project management skills. 
So we, before we even created any courses, we convened an industry advisory board and they identified several areas where they noticed that there were gaps in either their existing employees or people that they were looking to hire. So these are things like leadership skills, communication skills, the ability to work well in, in teams and a level of self-awareness for where you're strong and where you're weak and then being able to adapt and address those shortcomings. So we took all of that and built out the program. And so the benefits within the program, as you can read here, they do focus on your leadership and uh, uh, management strengths and weaknesses. You'll definitely be practicing and enhancing your presentation skills. Uh, you will do a lot of work in teams and understanding how teams function and being able to appreciate the different roles and the different experiences that your team members bring and then how can you effectively together as a group work on the on the projects that you're assigned additionally besides the presentation skills you'll also be working on your general communication skills because those are critical particularly if you are going to be working in teams or uh, working in industry where you have to report either up or, or down uh, what, about what you're doing and then project management is Definitely one of those key skills that I think everybody can benefit from. Uh, certainly, I know I can benefit from it. We were just talking earlier. Uh, I think Rich said he could benefit from it too. So uh, we're excited to also have that in addition to the leadership and teamwork skills to be able to offer a, a dedicated course on project management. And then, like I said, the point of this, in addition to enhancing your professional development, is to increase your hiring prospects when you leave the university. These are incredibly helpful and useful skills to be able to put on a resume. So when you are starting to do that job search, being able to list this stuff basically tells an employer you are job ready and you are much more likely, I would think, to rise to the top versus someone who is lacking these skills or they may have to get those skills later after they've already started their career, but you'll be hitting the ground running, which is a fantastic opportunity. So as far as the program itself and how it's structured, we accept up to 40 students every year. Uh, we try not to get too big, obviously, because then things become a little unwieldy. Um, the program is running from the end of September, so September 27th, and I'll provide dates here in a minute. And then it runs through May 2nd. So it's basically two quarters and a little bit. And then within that time, you'll take three courses. So the first one is effective leadership and teamwork in the workplace, which begins in fall quarter. And then after the winter break, you will start the leadership and teamwork practicum, which is as the name uh, implies a practical uh, experience where you will work on a real project from a campus sponsor. So there will be a unit or department on campus that provides a project that you will work on and you will do that in, in teams. And so, You'll hear more about that in a bit, but this is an ability to take what you've heard in the first course and begin applying it in a essentially a, a real project. And then at the beginning of March, I believe, the project management course kicks off and then that will run through uh, May 2nd. Uh, and then the courses right now are currently being delivered online, live online. So Tuesday evenings, 6 to 9 p.m. via Zoom. Uh, if the campus, COVID policies change and make things a little bit easier for us to do in person, we may switch down the road. But right now, for at, at a minimum for fall, we will be doing uh, live online videos. As far as the cost of the program, so in total for all three courses, it is $395, so a little bit short of $400. And that includes a $95 certificate fee, which is non-refundable, just want to point that out. Uh, which has to be paid upon acceptance into the program. And then it's $100 for each course. So you pay that $100 as you enroll. So if you get accepted in the program, basically your upfront cost is $195. And then the other courses you pay as those courses get closer to starting. To get accepted into the program, you essentially have to be a graduate student or a postdoc fellow here at UCSD. Uh, we don't accept people from outside the university, so it's only grad students and postdocs. And then in the application process, and I'll provide a link here in a second, you provide some basic information. So what, what year you are in your program, what you're studying, uh, your 
background work experience, and then a brief statement of interest. So nothing overly complicated and shouldn't take too long to fill out that application. These are the dates. So the application deadline is September 16th, which is coming up. Uh, and I hope everybody who's attending here or watching the recording later does apply. Uh, the applicants will be notified pretty quickly after that on September 20th, whether they got into the program or not. And then the first course starts the week after that on September 27th. So that uh, you'll see the link and I will, if I can put, paste that into chat here in a second. So with that, I'm done talking. Uh, I will turn things over first to Rich and then Dragos, and they will tell you more about the courses, a uh, brief overview of that, and then we'll get into that Q&A. So again, if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in chat, or when we do get to the uh, time for the Q&A, you can just do the raise hand function on, on, on there, and then we'll, we'll let you ask that question. All right. Rich. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Nathan, and welcome to all of you. We're ex very excited to share with you this learning journey through the certificate program that Nathan just laid out the, the, the concept of it. Um, uh, as I mentioned, I come out of the business background, and so um, I'm not an academic traditionally. And so that might be quite refreshing to all of you, because I'll tell you right now, the classes that I'll be working with you on are not designed to, for you to sit there and be a passive learner, read a bunch of books, write a few term papers, uh, quote stuff on midterms and finals. You can throw that out the window because this program and what makes it so powerful and why people love it is because it actually helps you build self-awareness and use of skills. And those are things that are in short supply, I have to tell you, in uh, the in the world of industry, but also, to be honest with you, in academia. Um, so you can choose, if you like, when you're done with this and when you're done with your coursework, excuse me, with your academic work, today, do I want to stay in academia? Do I want to go out into uh, the world of business, industry, government? And regardless of which direction you choose, this program will help you in both um, because I've worked a lot with folks who have challenges leading in their research labs, have difficulty working on teams, maybe a little bit of tension with the PI, and this course addresses all of that. So if you decide, oh, I want to stay in academia, this will be highly applicable to you. However, if you say, well, maybe I'm looking at going into the business world, uh, going into government, going into the not-for-profit world. I have to tell you, as Nathan mentioned earlier, this will get you to the front of the line because your employers will be absolutely blown away by the fact that you not only um, can be effective in working in teams and also can lead effectively, but you understand the nomenclature that goes along with that. And I've already had feedback from some people who said, when I went in an interview, they were in they were stunned at what I knew and said, gosh, we need that stuff in our organization. So this will get you the head of the pack. Um, so my, my background is in business, um, but I worked with UCSD for many, many, many years, both, um, both teaching classes and also consulting to them on different projects. Um, and so I've had a wide variety of experiences and honestly, I've pretty much seen it all. Uh, so you'll enjoy that in terms of background and experience for me. And I will tell you this, regardless of where you end up working after you're done with your academic program, there are certain truisms about uh, organizational life. And we focus on these in the program. And the first one is people are keen to be led. They're almost desperate to be led because a lack of leadership causes anxiety and chaos. And you might very well have seen that in the environments that you've been in. So because people are keen to be led, we're gonna teach you how to lead. People are tribal in nature. We like to work with others who are like us and can have difficulty working with those who are different. Yet when you are put into the world of work, you will inevitably work, work with people who are different than you. They won't come from the same uh, discipline in academia. They won't come from the same university. They will be from all over the world and with all different backgrounds, disciplines, and experiences, and most importantly, personalities. 
And we want to help you deal with all of those. Uh, because things primarily get done through our relationships with other people. And that needs to be underlined. Your ability to manage relationships with others will get you to be successful in the work world. All work is teamwork. Great teamwork, though, can appear elusive. But in fact, it's not. It is built through a disciplined process and heightened self-awareness and awareness of others' motivations and skills. So that's really the nub of this, folks. I have to tell you that you will learn about yourself. You will learn about how you lead. You will learn about how you are in a team and see other people in action and learn how to deal with them. Thirdly, people are, 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 are often... Um, but not always okay with change that they don't initiate. And we're going to be focusing on change management because most of the time that really throws people off. A change is initiated in the organization. They didn't have any say in it. Now they got to respond to it. And you and the lead, as a leader need to lead them through that. Good leadership and good teamwork is not luck. It can be taught and practiced. Some people think leadership, well, you're kind of born into it. Or, oh, I'm just not a natural leader. And I want to tell you right now, all of you are natural leaders. You just have to discover how you want to lead. And that's what we're going to focus on. So this is really what underpins the first course of leadership and teamwork. So I'm going to explain this course and then the practicing course. Then I'm going to hand it over to Dragos. He's going to talk about project management. And I'm telling you right now, you're getting a real expert in project management. He really knows his stuff. So the first class of leadership and teamwork, really that title represents what we're going to be covering. We're gonna help you become a high performing team member and a team leader. We're gonna help you create teams and make them work really well. To recognize the differences in the team members, their styles, their preferences, their behaviors, and be able to work with that and learn what effective leadership looks like the difference there is between leadership and management, and there is a difference, and how to create an empowered, aligned, and committed group pursuing an inspiring direction. So we're going to give you all of those skills during this program. So as you might imagine, there are many aspects of team building and leadership that are embedded within those concepts I just talked about, such as how to influence others and use power appropriately how to manage change both within yourself and with others, how to manage conflict, how to motivate and inspire others and maximize their engagement, and how to develop your emotional IQ. You all have incredibly high uh, intelligence quotients or IQ. We're going to help you build emotional intelligence, which is a different focus. Um, so these are all the underpinnings of good leadership and teamwork. We're going to cover all of those during the weeks in the leadership and teamwork uh, course. Along the way, you're gonna get tips and tricks on how to effectively work and collaborate and lead in organizations. I'll be sharing my experiences for many years of working in the um, in world of industry and academia, and also share my experiences as a human being, to be honest with you. I will say that both leadership and team skills are highly sought after by employers. I mentioned this earlier, and I'll say it again. And if you add to that the uh, the skill of project management, you've got it made when it comes to working uh, outside of academia. Um, demonstrating these uh, will move you to the front of the line, to be honest with you. So um, I realize that many of you are part of academic research teams. So as an extra added benefit or bonus, I'll be happy to consult with you and your fellow classmates um, to help you in how you could be more effective with your research and advisor teams. That'll be just baked in throughout the first course of leadership and teamwork. Um, so this coursework is designed to be experiential in nature, uh, which is different from the coursework that you probably have experienced in your academic career. What we mean by experiential is that it uh, gives you an opportunity to have an experience, say, as a team. Then we reflect and learn from that experience. You develop new mental models of how you'll be in a team differently, and then we'll try it again. 
And we're going to do this time and time and time again through all of the nine weeks. You'll get a lot of opportunities to see yourself in action, to learn from it, and to improve your skills. I can guarantee you at the end of the Leadership and Teamwork course, you will be much more adept at teamwork and leadership than you ever thought you could through lots of practice and lots of learning. Um, we build in action learning into this, which is everything we do is applied. So even though we might have uh, concepts of organizational behavior or psychology as part of this, because that obviously underpins a lot of what we do in the, in the business world, uh, that's not the main focus. That's just to help you understand why we're doing what we're doing. So it's really going to help you focus on experiences. And, and so that means, to be honest, the most you get out of this class is when you participate the most. This is not one of those courses where you can just sit back online, take a bunch of notes, and you're done. We need you engaged, and you will really enjoy that. Now, there's obviously a hefty dose of self-reflection throughout the course, and we're going to help you with that by giving you a variety of self-assessments that focus on personality and other behavioral traits that are essential to developing all of the skills that you need in your toolkit as a team member and a leader. So you're going to learn a lot about yourself. Bear in mind, there's no right or wrong about what you're learning about yourself. Every one of you can lead. You're just going to do it in different ways. Um, so that's what we'll do in the Leadership and Teamwork program. It'll fly by in a second. Um, every Tuesday night, three hours, action-packed. Then when we're done with that, we're going to move you into the practicum, which, as the title says, you're going to apply and practice what you learn in leadership in the leadership and teamwork course. So the purpose of the practicum is to allow you to apply these learnings. This is where we focus on real world application of your newfound skills and knowledge. You will be assigned to a project team that will tackle a problem or issue being faced by UCSD. These problems are not contrived you will actually be helping the university improve the student experience. We've This is very impactful stuff. We've done projects from uh, many projects to do with helping the incoming student experience, helping people from uh, diverse cultures integrate into UCSD. Uh, we've helped, uh, would you believe, everything from how to dispose of medical waste at the university to helping the bicycle shop become profitable and be more effective as a, a, as a purveyor of bicycles and, and other equipment. Um, and, we, and we've also worked with Rady to help them develop a program uh, for veterans. So we've done a lot of different projects that really had a lot of impact. Um, your team will be assigned a sponsor who will orient you to the issues that are being faced by this particular project that you'll be handed. And then over six sessions during practicum, you will develop a solution. Through, throughout it, you will have your sponsor as well as myself to act as advisors to your team. As a culmination, you'll be expected to make a formal presentation to the sponsors and other university staff highlighting the results. So guess what? As an extra added benefit, you get to learn presentation skills, which, by the way, is an additional must-have if you're going to progress forward further forward in your career. So that's that second course. Um, and then after that, then you really get to focus on project management, which is such an exciting topic. I was telling Dragos, I'm jealous because I want to attend that class, um, especially after all the projects that I've done in my career and half of them failed. Uh, but uh, uh, Dragos, can I hand it over to you and you can talk about that particular course? Yes, of course. So, so thanks, Rich. Uh, this is this is again very exciting for me to be here. And um, you know, a little bit more about myself. I've been uh, working for uh, twenty plus years. I'm coming from a financial banking background, just like Rich. And then uh, currently, I'm working for a startup here in San Diego. I've been running projects of you know all sides and and sh shapes over the years, all types of budget from, you know, a few thousand dollars project to over $30 million project. So 
Um, I'm definitely excited of sharing this with you. So, you know, in terms of project management, what's what's important to to understand is that every single organization today is project centric. So all these new ideas, innovation, uh, customer needs, regular regulatory projects, everything translates into a project that needs to be executed. So the success of the company depends on how well you execute these projects. And, and, and what we're doing here is giving you this toolbox that we created over the years that allows you just like a carpenter or mechanic to you know, run the project successfully. So you know, I cannot stress enough how important to have these skills. And by the way, project management is, uh, it's, it's project, being a project manager is being a leader first. And you're gonna lead a team or several teams of people with different personalities. And this is where you're gonna put into practice what, what you're gonna learn from, from Rich. And the difficulty of that as a project manager is that oftentimes these people are not reporting directly to you. They have their own manager, they have their own functional manager, their own boss. So, you know, it will all depend on how well you're going to be able to influence them and, you know, to motivate them to, uh, to um, uh, have them execute on your projects. So that's, you know, in, in a nutshell. And, and, you know, what I want is by the end of this class, I want you to be very familiar with terms like WBS, uh, critical path, Agile, uh, Six Sigma, uh, Sprints, all these terms that are really key in our current world. And as I said, all companies are using these tools and all companies are executing projects based on these methodologies. So um, it's, it's, it's really important that, that you, are, you get familiar with the skills and, and especially if you are, you're moving from the academia to the industry, this is going to be crucial not only in you know getting the job but 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 executing well you know once you got the job so uh, very excited uh, of being here uh, I'm I'm every year I'm I'm excited about this class extremely smart people um, and um, I, I really look forward to to meet all of you thanks yeah. Dragos sure. So with that, we can move into the, the Q&A phase. And there was one question that was already asked and answered, but I'll just verbally repeat it here for purposes of the recording. So the, the question was, is there a, a, a particular year that you need to be in your, your program uh, to apply? And the answer is, there is no preference for, for years. You can be in any year in, in your program. And, and, apply to the program and be accepted into it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that worry you if you're a first year graduate student, we do accept first year grad students into the program. Yeah. So um, there was also a point I didn't mention earlier about the costs, because obviously if you're a graduate student, you know, keep an eye on your budget is always a tough thing. So this program, it is $395, but that is heavily, heavily subsidized by the university. So this program, uh, we, we have offered equivalents uh, primarily to corporate clients, and it's usually around $4,000 per person. Yeah, right. So so you're getting this at basically 10% of, of the cost. So at that rate, it is a tremendous value to get these skills and be able to, to put this stuff on a resume and hopefully be very, very successful from the ground, from the get-go with your, your career. So and and Nathan, um, I want to mention, am I right? You would know better than I because you work there, that the uh, university is actually subsidizing this program. In other words, yes. uh, they're putting a bit of cash into this yes. to really make it work. That's the commitment that UCSD has to see all of you be successful post, uh, post your academic experience at the university. Yes, that is, that is correct. So uh, another another question I, I think would be good. Uh, so Rich Dragos, uh, for the during during the course of your courses, um, what's the time expectation? When are when how much time do people have to spend in these courses, both during the lectures and outside of lectures? 
That's great. Can I answer that first, Dragos, and then you? Please, go ahead. So, so for my two courses that I'm running, the Practicum Leadership and Teamwork, uh, you only uh, need to uh, attend the classes, which are three hours. The, the small amount of outside work is periodically completing a self-assessment that might take you 20 minutes. Um, and I'm going to ask you to uh, keep a journal of your experiences in the class, but that's maybe, what, 15 minutes a week. So really, we've designed this so that you only need to put in the effort uh, during the three hours uh, on the Tuesday nights. Yeah, so for project management, uh, during the first class, you will be assigned a project, a team project. And uh, we designed the class so that you don't need to meet outside of the class. So we'll, we'll cover, we'll cover um, the material during the class and then you will have time at the end of each class to work on your project and practice actually what we have learned uh, on, on your team project. So no time required outside of the three hours, the weekly three hours. Great, thanks. Um, and a question that's come up before in the past. So if project management is such a valuable skill to have, why is the project management course after the practicum in which people work on projects? Do you want me to go with that? Yeah, um, go ahead. So we, we purposely have designed it this way because we want you to practice how to be a leader and be in a team. Um, and because the kind of projects that we get from UCSD, and that's not their fault, because they're not totally designed to fit into a project structure in the typical sense, uh, it makes much more sense for us to give you that practicum after you've developed the skills of leadership and teamwork. And so it's really about applying that within the context of the project we're giving you. So uh, that's good to know and hopefully avoid some confusion <laughs> later. Um, another, another question, uh, maybe Rich, can you expand on the assessments a little bit? Like, what are they? What are you learning from them? I, I'm sorry, what was that again? I'm the sorry. assessments, if you can expand yeah, a little so bit. I'm going to give you um, some assessments that I use very regularly in my consulting practice with business executives. And they focus on different aspects of your preferences and behaviors. There's one called DISC. Uh, there's one involving change, one involving uh, interpersonal needs, one involving conflict. Um, so that's, we're giving you those so that you get a snapshot of your own perception of yourself that will help you figure out what are my strengths, what are my development areas, and how do I prefer to lead? So you lead from the best. They're very non-threatening. They're all psychologically valid. Um, they don't get communicated. The results of those do not get communicated beyond our class. And in fact, um, really not beyond you. And obviously I know them, but that's it. So they're confidential. I, I follow American Psychological Association practices uh, around any sort of assessments, even though this is not, I'm not doing therapy and I'm not a psychologist, but I follow those anyway, just as due diligence. Okay. Thanks, Rich. So, Dragos, uh, have you heard from, from prior students about some of the impacts that, that this your project management course, if not the whole program they have had on, on their career after they left the university? Yeah, definitely. We had a lot of feedback from, from students that moved uh, from the academia to the industry. And, and basically what they all said was that it was crucial, the fact that they had project management knowledge that they used and discussed during the interviews was crucial for them in order to get the job. So okay. was was there was there was you know every single time when they started talking about you know timelines, uh, SOWs, whatever you know, schedule, etc. Uh, you know the the in interviewers were impressed and it it really played into um, okay. getting getting the jobs. Well, and I've even heard from somebody who's still at the university, and Rich, you alluded to it earlier, uh, she's still in her PhD program, and the skills that she learned in this course are still applicable while she's still at the university, because as she pointed out, you know, research is team-based, 
And so you have to be able to work well within that team. And then she's also working under the supervision of a PI. And so she needs to maintain a good rapport with that PI in order to be successful in, in her graduate exactly. program. So this has been yeah. very helpful for, for her UCSD career, let alone you know, her, her career outside of the university as well. Yeah, good point. Let's face it, no matter where you are, people are people. Doesn't matter where you work. That's true, that's true. All right, well, if you do have any other questions, uh, you can raise your hand real quick, but I, I think we've covered quite a bit here. Um, again, the application deadline is September 16th. Uh, the link, I pasted it in chat, but you can see it there. Uh, will take you to the Leadership and Teamwork Certificate Program page, which provides more information about the program overall and the individual courses, and then there's a, a link to the Apply Now button. Um, there's also a link to request more information. So there's a FAQ document uh, that I can send you uh, if you click that uh, information request button uh, and if you still need to consider uh, what, what the program all entails. So I hope you found the information session helpful. Uh, feel free to also, uh, again, reach out with that information inquiry button. My contact information, I can paste it in the chat, but it's also on that page. Uh, happy to answer any any questions that you may have. So thank you. Let me just take care of that real quick. That's my email address. Um, so thank you for attending, uh, and uh, I hope everyone has an excellent evening. And I look forward to seeing your applications in the coming days. Yeah, we'd love to have you. I have a question there from Carolina. Oh, Carolina, so I think she's applauding oh, us. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, Carolina. Thank All you. right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye, guys.